This tutorial is going to introduce you to the two things that you're going to need to move forward in this course at this point, and that is we're going to be working with the Grid World case study provided by the AP College Board, uh, and you're going to need the source files for it. In addition to that, you're going to need an IDE to work with at home. Uh, we have Eclipse installed in all the computers in the lab, so if you would like to get the, the same IDE that we're using in the classroom, simply go to eclipse.org, click Downloads, and you'll come to this website. We're using the standard edition, and just choose 32-bit or 64-bit, depending upon whatever your home computer is. Uh, this can be installed anywhere on your computer. Uh, for instance, I just extracted uh, Eclipse to Program Files, uh, and then Eclipse, and then when you open up that folder, when everything installs, you'll have uh, an application right here, and I pin this to my uh, start menu and taskbar so I can quickly launch it. So that's my uh, advice to you as well. And over on the AP College Board website, uh, there is a manual for installing on alternative IDEs if you wanted to explore those as well. All right, but for now, let's go ahead and we'll go ahead and install Grid World for the first time. Click File, New, Java Project, and then you're going to have to give it a name. I'm just going to use Grid World simply because it makes sense, and then click Finish. From that point, I'm going to import some of those files. So I'm going to click Import, File System, click Next, then I'm going to browse to where that is. I have it already on my desktop. So I'm going to just go down to where it says Grid World Code and click OK. I'm going to check the box on the left-hand side, which will import all of the files in this folder, including the uh, file folders. So let's go ahead and click Finish. So if I expand out, I'm going to have a lot more stuff now. But the most uh, important part is that we use the jar file down here. So that's also something that's going to be explained in Chapter 3, and I'll cover that in class. But for now, make sure that you click Properties. Uh, if you haven't, uh, if you need to navigate to the Libraries tab, do that, and then click Add Jars. We're going to expand out Grid World and select the Grid World .jar, and then simply click OK. Lastly, the first thing uh, that you're going to come across in Chapter 3 is um, a file that you're going to find in Projects, First Project, Bug Runner. So I'm going to show you how to work with this in the future as well. This can be drag and drop, so I want a copy of Bug Runner, which is the name of that file so that I have the original saved. So if I had my uh, windows arranged like, like so, I'm simply going to drag Bug Runner over into Source and copy it. That way I still retain the original while I work with this. All right, so now if I expand this out, I have Bug Runner over here. So let me go ahead and close this now, and I'll go full screen with Eclipse. And then from there, all i got to do is push Run looks like the play button and I'm in business so that's how you're gonna get started with grid world uh, if you have any other questions on that process feel free to ask or email me